Welcome back to our free video series on working with Easy Drummer by RecordingSchoolOnline.com. We've got many, many more videos available, much more advanced on mixing and music production from RecordingSchoolOnline.com. Check us out. Okay, let's continue on. Now, we talked about actually having individual outputs here uh, in our recorder. This gives us much more control in the final mix, and you're going to get better sounding drums. I also advise when you do this to set your output faders evenly. You're not going to be mixing so much within Easy Drummer, with the exception of individual drums. In other words, the relationship between, for instance, if you were working with the kick drum, we might want to have a little different volume between kick out, kick in, and the sub. We might want a less sub, we just turn it down. But generally speaking, what we want to try to do here is have even output so that when we get to our mix, we actually have good volumes of each track. So what I tend to do is even them out. And I may not want all this processing, for instance, in this case, on this drum, uh, this drum kit, you have the ability to use something called vinyl, which is, you know, a type of processing on the drum kit, which uh, you can either route it to a separate track. In this case, it would be mixed with the plate on track eight. I might not want to do that. I, wanna, I might want to actually keep the room ambience separate so that when I get to the final mix, I have more control. So I have a tendency to turn that down. And I like to have a separate track for the out for the overheads, separate track for the room, and a separate track for the plate. They've done a great job here of actually getting good room ambience and a great sounding plate. So by separating those, you have that control in the final mix. So let's take a look here. What do we got? We've got these kicks going to track one, the snare top, snare bottom separated, going to track two and three, which is nice. We've got our hats on four, toms, all going to five. So what are you going to do? Um, they're already set up with some nice panning, some natural panning and very classic panning. So you can leave that alone or change it if you want. We have our overheads going to six, rooms seven, plate eight. Now, let's let's take a look at that. That's our plate. Ambience. Just kick. Snare. Hat, and so forth and so on. So the first thing I recommend you doing is immediately naming these. Just because it'll be confusing if you don't. Another thing I highly recommend is actually freezing the tracks to free up your CPU and memory. Once you do that, of course, it's set. You may want to freeze using some effects on the, uh, on the individual tracks. And if you haven't already seen it, we do have a video on using Easy Drummer with some waves processing in order to get some great drum sounds. You might want to check that out. Go to the next video 